hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? We're back again doing another tutorial. Today, we're exploring the bees. 115 is coming. It's coming very soon. I recently did a Minecraft 1.15 tips to tricks using the beehives and the bee nest. And a lot of people wanted me to do this house right behind me. I had a little sample on that. And I'm going to put a link in the description if you guys want to check out that tips and tricks video. So much fun. But I, I did this little sample of a house. It was pretty much just the outline you see right behind me and everybody wanted me to do this beekeeper's house so i did it let me flip let me show you a little bit of what we have in store and then we'll start the tutorial right after so there it is right here it is an awesome house we got interior done we have this cool little beehive garden over here with a bunch of flowers a very very cool design right here and then also the house though the house is the star of the show we have a lot of cool little spots here we have full interior also a couple little beehives on the outside Side here for extra storage and a nice little fireplace we have it very perfectly set up for survival inside as well with all kinds of storage as well but you know what let's get this started and let's start building this tutorial right now all right so let's get this started right here we're going to start out with our spruce log right here in this corner and then we're going to just go up right here by five so there's a one so two three four and five let's give it a space of three one two three four and five and another space of three one two three four and five then turn in this corner space of three one two three four and five and another space of one two and three and up this one we're gonna go again one two three four and five and then one more space of three but this one we're only gonna go up one two and three just like that for now then let's turn this corner we're gonna go space of one two and three go up by three space of three here one two and three just like that and then repeating these back here so space of three up by five space of three up by five right there so that is the first little start to our base our foundation then let's grab our bees nest and we're going to do this i'm going to put one maybe sideways like that skip the space in the middle let's put another one sideways like that or you can show the holes it's really up to you guys what you want to do and where you want to put those holes but we're going to totally randomize this i'm going to maybe just close that one off i'm going to put a front door right here so for this one i'm going to go with a simple just log underneath then this one i'm going to show nothing no holes then this one let's put nothing uh, let's put uh, let's put a hole now. Let's put another one with nothing And we're gonna just randomly scatter those little holes from time to time then here. Let's turn this corner Let's go hole nothing and a hole. Why not? Let's throw some holes in there and then nothing times two down in the bottom Then we're turning this corner one. Let's put double with none of those. Let's put nothing hole nothing There we go and let's just do all holes on the bottom here. Why not? Let's break that one up <laughs> Then this one let's just do maybe one on this one and let's do just one and one like that. That's looking pretty good. Then there's going to be a lot of random breakage here. So we're going to make this look really, really cool. But for now, let's just cover everything up from here to here in just spruce. But we're, oh, we're definitely going to break it up. But let's make it very simple for now. So we're just going to go up one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go up three here, three here. Let's go up on all of these. Let's do something like this. So one, two. Let's put one here and one there like that. Let's go up just by two on those. One more layer there of two. This one, we're going to do the same thing we did over there. So one here and three up right there. We're going to cover this whole thing up right up to that point. Then keep going. Let's just do it just like this for now. And I'm going to show you what you're going to do to make it look very beat up and look very, very cool. It look like a rundown old beekeeper shack. Something like that. Then next up, we're going to cross beam right here. Cross beam this one. And don't cross beam this one. So we're just going to cross beam these here. So right here and right there. There we go. Like that. So leave this just like that for now. Then we're going to beat this up and break it in. So first thing I want to do is let's come over here. Uh, don't worry about this middle piece. We're going to put a nice little fireplace going up. So we're going to put this with cobblestone. But for now, leave it just like this. But first step, let's come in here and give it a little bit of the strip just to make it nice and uh, rustic looking. So something like that. And this is not where they're going to stay. We're going to definitely break it in with some stairs. And we're going to put in some fences for windows. But for now, let's just do it like this. I'm going to show you how I do my normal texturing but for you well, if you want to do it just like this go ahead and do it but if you want to make it your own make it more unique and run down in your own style just use this as a guideline but just go crazy with it do whatever you want and have fun with it just like that bee's doing having fun with that flower uh so something like that so okay that's step number one then let's put here a little upside down stair because i definitely want to put a small little window here right about there 
looking awesome. Then, uh, let's come in here and bring in some stairs. I'm going to maybe put a stair there. Let's put a stair like that. Let's throw a couple stairs, maybe one here and there. Let's throw a couple like so. Let's maybe do like a double stair here, maybe. Why not? Put one on the bottom. Let's go with one here, one there. Let's maybe do, how about a little double like that? That's not bad. Maybe one here and one there. And let's do maybe another little double and maybe one right here. Make it look very, very broken there. And maybe one more right about there. Looks pretty good. I like that. Then next up, let's start doing some windows. So I'm going to put with our oak fence, I'm going to maybe do... Uh, let's put a single here. Let's set up a one. Let's put one right there. And I like it because the stair kind of breaks it up. That looks cool. Let's put another one here. And I think maybe one more right here on the side might be good. This one, let's not put really any on that one. For this one, let's go maybe one here. Let's actually go all three up there. Maybe one here and maybe one on top like so. Oh, I like that. Uh, for this one, let's go here and here. For this one, let's go right there and let's actually do something like so. Yeah, it looks cool. Then from this one, let's do some like that. I hear the bees buzzing. And then here, let's maybe do one right on the side. And then this one, I'm gonna leave it closed in. So something like that, looking pretty cool. All right, now let's work on this roof part. So I'm gonna start right here on this corner. Let's put an upside down stair of dark oak here. Upside down stair of dark oak right there. Then I'm gonna go ahead and just run some slabs. So first step, I wanna put a slab at this level right about here. So then I wanna go with a step pattern, just like so, let's just work this out. So we're gonna put a stay, uh, slab right here. Then we're gonna put double slab, double, double, a double right there. So that's your center to this. And then we're gonna come back with slabs going all the way down, like so, till we get here. Then we're gonna keep going down. So we're gonna put a slab here, slab underneath, slab here, one underneath, here underneath one on top and then one here and then this one is going to come all the way around like so and then this is going to come right to there then we're just going to repeat that on this side so let's do it together so double slab double double here double there put a stair right on that one put a slab on top that's not a slab put a slab on top <laughs> right here then we're going to just go up double a double right here and one more and then we're going to come back down so just like this all the way down so we get to right about here and then this kind of swings around and goes all the way this way just like that now to add even more detail let's do this let's put upside down stairs on these little bits and that just gives it just a little bit more on that end and it's looking really awesome also on this side we could do it here as well so stair stair and stair all right, and now next up, actually, let's replace this little thing. We have to put a little stair on that. Let's put stairs every other one right there. And then let's grab some slabs, and we're going to put slabs every other one going all the way down. So we have this little look. And now let's repeat this on the other side. And there you go. Repeat it on this side. Now, to fill in this little gap in the middle, I'm just going to grab barrels. Also, you can use uh, trap doors of sprues. I think would look pretty good. But I think barrel will probably be the best looking one. So those right there. And then let's go one, two, three, four, and five, and one in the middle. And it gives you this look from this side. Then, for now, let's fill it all in. But you know what? We're going to add a nice little extension here in the center side bit but let me show you what it would look like if you just wanted to cap it off and close the roof just like this so really simple we're just gonna go from one side to the other and just put slabs connecting this side to that side and then you can use full blocks or slabs either way going all the way down so just like this and we're just gonna connect it so let's do this thing real fast we're just gonna go from one side to the next just connecting the dark oak now there you go if you just wanted to close off the roof just like this you're fine you're good you have a nice clean roof but we're definitely gonna break this roof off make it look very run down rustic and it's gonna look really really nice we're also gonna pop out a little section right here just to add a little more interest and a little balcony on the side so you know what let's start that up right now all right so let's start this up right here and this is how we're gonna do it to make it super easy we're just gonna connect to these logs that we see here we're just gonna connect these up so let's start right here in the same spot where the log is so we're gonna give it a space of three right here exactly where the log is and then we're just gonna take this back so one two three and we're gonna go exactly where that log is right there and we're gonna just take that up we're gonna go ahead and just pop it up over here space of three and just let's do like a little placeholder block and then we're gonna place that one in there so if you see it it's just connecting to these little middle gaps now going right in the middle put a placeholder put one here another one right there we already have that barrel ready and set so right where all of the um the logs are ready we're just gonna go up from there but not too much we're not gonna go too crazy up so right here we're just gonna go up by two from that slab 
Then this is connect everything and go all the way up. So this one technically, if you're at this level right here, this is a one, two, three, and four. So connect to that level. Then this one technically, if you went from nothing, it goes up one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then do it again. So space up by six. This one's a one, two, three, and four. And that just goes level right to that. So it's gonna look really, really cool. Then next up, let's just connect this right here. Connect this one to that, cross beam here, and just cross beam everything we have set up right now. That looks good. Then let's take away these little bits right there. I'm gonna put like a little, just to make it easy, just uh, a placeholder right there, just so you know that's the level, right? Then I'm just gonna fill this in with just spruce for now. But we're gonna do what we did down here and break it up and make it look really nice. Then for this one, let's put a little spruce right here. Get rid of that bit, put a spruce here put another spruce on this one and just connect all these bits right there to you have that nice little line and you have the spruce in the inside then the same thing here see this one looks all right so those three this one we need to get rid of that and take it all the way up and then this one connects perfectly to that so leave that there for now definitely going to break it up though now for here let's get rid of this little bit i'm going to go up one two three four and five on that row then we're gonna do the same thing here and just connect those three, get rid of that, connect these four, and just go all the way to the top here. And the same thing goes for this one. I'm just gonna cover this up, cover that up, and it looks pretty good, just like that for now. Then we're definitely gonna mess with this. So first up, let's do what we did before and do our little bit of texturing. Just randomly place in some of the strips, just like that, maybe in different directions, like so. That looks good. That looks actually too patterny, right? There we go, something like that there you go let's pattern it i like that then let's come back in here and do it again put a little bit like so ah uh, hello no make sure you you know shift shift click it uh and then go something like that and we're going to do it again on this side again some of these are going to be broken off at the end then let's grab our stairs and let's do some stair action so some of these are going to go like this maybe like that and then maybe a little bit of a layer like so break up these as well like we did last time so something like that and then maybe one of those looks good. And then maybe some of that and some of this just randomly scattered with some broken pieces like so. Then we want to do uh, a little balcony, a little more detail, a little window action. But first off, let's do the roof because that is the simplest one. So we're going to do the same trick we did here. We're going to put upside down dark oaks on all of these corner bits. We're going to come uh, back this way. Let's go one uh, right here, right here and right there. And then let's start working on this roof. So let's start with a slab popping out right here. We're gonna do the same thing. So slab on top of that stair, double, 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 and a double right here. Come back down and we're gonna continue and do the same roof style we did before, end it right there. Then we're gonna do the same thing here. So let's do it together. So one slab, one on top of that stair, doubles all the way till we get to the middle right there and then come back down like so, super simple. And boop, there we go. And then we'll run that line straight down. Then we're just gonna connect this side to that side like we did before, so let's do this one real fast. All right, there you go. And then just connect with slabs from one side to the next on this side, and let's throw in our barrels like we did last time right over here. Other option would be, trap doors would be really good. See if I can sneak this in here. I did it wrong. Okay, let me just do this real fast. <laughs> All right, there you go. It's looking awesome. Repeated one side to the other, and it looks so cool. I love that little extension. Then next up, let's work on windows and our little balcony extension. So for the window, let's pop one right here. So I'm going to put a two right there. So if that's the line, I'm going to go ahead and take these out right here. So that's the same line there. I'm going to put a nice little door right here to come out. So let's leave that there for now. And let's go ahead and take these out. And you know what? Let's make this a little more rundown. Let's break that all the way down this way. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit of a breakup job maybe right there as well. And if we come over here on this side, let's do a little bit of a breakup job there. On this side, I'm going to leave that clean like so. So if this is going to be the line, let's go right here. We're going to pop out our balcony right here. So one right here on this end. One, two. Let's actually take it out by three. So on the third one, we're going to pop this up and go over right there. And go over right there so then technically if we count this is a one two three four on the fifth is the level and we're taking one extra out on each side just like that then i'm going to put some slabs and trap doors so let's put some trap doors like that i'm going to grab a mixture of slabs also and we're going to just throw that down right about here so that's level then i'm going to get our fence and i'm going to just run this around like so and i'm going to put a gate on the front one for easy access in case we got to run out of here real fast 
So that looks really, really good. So that goes out like that. I'm not going to put an overhang to this because I'm going to leave it clean like so. But on top of this, I'm going to put some trap doors just to make it look nice. Something like so. Very, very simple. And then we're going to come on the inside here. And, you know, one thing I want to do is let's put this as an upside down stair just so we can continue the theme that we've been doing. Actually, let's do it on all three of those. I think that might look even better. And let's repeat that on the other side just so we can have that uh, mirrored. So right about there, just adding a little more detail. What do you guys think of this so far? This is a cool little beehive, beekeeper's cabin in the woods. I like it. Now, over here that we have this, let's work out a little bit of detail. So let's put some slabs up here just so we can have, see, this little gaps covered up. So we're going to do this like so. So that looks cool. And it also makes a nice ceiling. Then we're going to get rid of all this part of the roof. So let's get rid of that, that this right here let's get rid of all that so this will be the level that we have right here that we're working with all right now let's get rid of this little bit right here i'm gonna go ahead and do a little flooring level right on this end we're gonna take this all the way down to here once we get to that we're doing a little, little cross beam right here then i'm gonna do another block right here so a block of one two three i'm gonna take this all the way up to the ceiling right there and then I'm going to cross this little bit right on this end. Then I want to do something special here. Let's actually block this off right here. I'm going to cover this little bit off with a little bit of texturing. So something like that. Maybe we can break that in and maybe bring a little dark oak in there. We could. Or we could just go ahead and do something like that just to break it up. That looks cool. That's fine. We can leave that there. For this one, we could take it out. So let's replace that. And then for this one, we could take it out as well. So it's all kind of mirrored up in this end. For this, we can also get rid of that and just continue the theme of how we're doing it with our texturing. And that kind of mirrors everything that's happening inside. Uh, for this one, we got to keep these. So just leave those there. If you want to give it a, like a, a little mirror job or something to look a little bit so it doesn't look off, we put another barrel right there. And that's fine. And that looks cool right there that it then uh, I want to make this that I can go up right here with a spiral staircase so let's just go up right here one two three four and five and leave that there for now and we're gonna have a nice little spot here we're gonna put a little bed action it's gonna be our bedroom area uh, so let's just leave that there for now now really quick for this flooring I just gonna get rid of everything here we're gonna have like a stone and cobble base floor so let's do this real fast all right there you go nice and uh, textured on the floor and that's looking pretty cool now next up I want to do a little bit of a room divider kind of thing so let's do right here with our beehives or no bee nest right there. Uh, let's put another set over here. We could bring in some of the holes in there too. And then we're going to put another one right about there. And that looks cool. And then we're going to have a little way into this little area. We have our little spiral staircase section. We're going to have a little fireplace here with a kitchen. And then over here, we're going to have a little dining room. Then uh, let's do again what we've been doing. So let's just cover this up right now just in regular old planks. Uh, let's do this one as well. Regular old planks going this direction. And then we're going to put regular old planks going up right here. Then this one, I'm going to put a little cross beam right at that edge as well. Take this down and we're going to put a little stair right there. Then let's do a little bit of texturing. So let's come back in here. Give it a little bit of the strips right about there. Looks good. Let's do a little bit on that side also. Then we could do the same thing and beat it up even more. Put a little stair, not there, but <laughs> let's put a little stair, maybe one there, maybe one on the top. This one can actually go like this and maybe put even a fence right there. That's fine. We do an interior fence. Why not? Do a little fence on that side. And let's see, any more stairs around here? This is a stair. Is that a stair? Actually, I could just go right here, right? Okay. <laughs> and then put a little stair on this side. And then maybe put a stair on the opposite side like that. And that's looking pretty good. Now, for even more detail, let's look at the ceiling. We could definitely do something here to make it a little stand out. So let's do this. Let's put a slab right here. Let's do a full block here. Slab, full block there. And then come back and do the same thing just like that. That looks pretty good. Let's do it again over here. So slab, full block, slab full block in there let's put a slab full block and a slab going down this way and then we could do i could think we could sneak in another one here so right here and then maybe one more right there so that looks very very cool all right now let's work on the spiral staircase so this is what i'm thinking let's put a stair here let's put one twisted on that end then we're going to go upside down stair forward upside down here twist that one stair going forward Upside down, Ooh, no, upside down, <laughs> twist that one. Stay going forward, upside down, twist this one. Stay going this way, and then we're gonna go upside down and then twist that one, and that ends perfectly 
right here on this side. That looks awesome. Then we can grab a little bit of trapdoor, maybe a trapdoor here and here, just to make it look cool. And then we can go down, and that's perfect, right there. That's nice. Then let's just lift this up one more. And I'm gonna put a little fence that we have right over here. And let's put one right there. And then we can just put, if anything, we could put a slab or we could put a trapdoor. I think a capped off slab right there would be pretty cool. All right, now let's go back outside and let's work on a little fireplace that we have worked out right here. And it's gonna be super simple. We're just gonna go with a mix of cobble and stone, just like so. So something a little bit mixed up like that. Then actually, I'm gonna take it right to here. Let's put a stair like so. Then I'm gonna grab a full block. I'm gonna put another full block here, single block and a single block right there. Let's put a step right on this side and they're kind of gonna connect to that, which is actually pretty cool. That connects to that, so it kind of twists this up. And then we're gonna put another little stair like that, mixing different blocks and that looks really awesome. Then we're gonna go up on the inside and go right on this edge. So we're gonna get rid of that barrel, but that's fine because it's gonna look pretty cool because we're gonna lift this up. So from here, this is a one, two, three, and I think just a four up should be fine. Maybe mixing in a little bit of the cobble right there. Then we're gonna put our campfire on top and then a trap door surrounding it. And that's gonna be really, really nice, just like so. There we go. And we have ourselves a nice little camp fire uh, thing. All right, everything's looking great right now. Now, if you wanna keep it just like this, you're done, you're fine, you're finished. But I'm gonna show you little ways to make it look even more broken because look, we have all these little broken pieces here in the center. Why not make the roof broken? I'm gonna show you how to do that. But before we even get into that, I missed one little tiny little block. What's right here instead of a slab put a stair i think i have to do one here on this side as well just a mirror there we go just like that i think we're fine now but let's break up this roof and this is how we're going to do it so first step let's just come in and just scatter some slabs on top of the slabs we already have so this is all random you could do it exactly where i'm placing it or you could just go wherever you want but this is how we're going to do it let's see let's do two there let's do one here let's go with a two let's go with a two on that side let's go maybe with a one here let's go with a three two i think it's fine let's go with a two here let's go one here let's go with two there one here let's do one and one something like that and maybe stretch that out and i think that's it see simple like that you just throw in blocks and it looks really really rustic run down and broken i love it i'm going to continue it on this side the only one i don't want to touch is the edge right the, the ones on the edges i want to keep that nice flow but i'm going to definitely break up in the center so let's do something like that let's do a three here let's go with a one and a one Let's go with the two, one here. Let's go with the two here, one in the center. Let's go with two there, one here. Let's go with two, two, one, and a one here. And I love that. Maybe just one more somewhere. No, I think we're good. I don't want to mess with it too much. I think maybe a three here. And if that looks like that, we maybe want to put one more there. Yeah, I love it. That's it. That's it. That's awesome. Then up here, let's go again. Let's go with a one, two, one. Let's go with a uh, let's go with a two here, one there, and let's go with a one and a two here. I think that looks good, and then maybe one and a two right there. Oh yeah, I like that. That looks cool. And you just eyeball it, just see how you guys would like to put it. You could put it again exactly where I'm putting it, or just go randomly, make it your own, and go crazy. Just go wherever you want. Let's do a three there. Let's go with a two. Let's go with a one. Let's go with a two, and I think maybe a two here. That's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. And maybe sneak in a couple down here. I didn't forget about that one. And I don't want to mess with this little corner bit just because that's the edge. And I want to keep the edge look nice. Looking nice. There we go. So something like that. Isn't that nice? I love it. Now, little bits you can do is add maybe little trap doors as shutters. We can use the oak one just to break up this little spot. At least a little bit. Uh, maybe something like that to break it up. That goes there. Uh, this one has maybe one on the side and one on that side. Uh, this one has maybe one here, maybe one there, and maybe one on that side. It looks good. Or we can even double it, do something like so. Kind of like trap doors on each side. That looks all right. Maybe one here on that end. And that looks pretty good. We have our door here. We have our double trap there. And maybe a single trap on that one. All right, now next up, I want to put a nice, simple beehive section over here. And I want to make it out of just cobble and a little bit of stone, a little bit of mossy. But it's going to be very organic, so you don't have to do it exactly like me. Maybe you use it as inspiration. Maybe make a bigger one or something. Go crazy with it. It's all up to you guys. But let's start really simple. I'm going to start, if you want to do it exactly, let's start right here. So right at this line. So let's go one, two, three. Let's do four right there. Then let's go one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Then let's go one, two, 
one, two, one, two, well, an extra, then one here, then let's go one, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, up, well, no, another two. Let's go with a corner one right there. Let's go with a one, two, one, two, three. So lift that up by two so it has the same lined up section. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three, four right here. Take that up again. Then we're gonna turn this corner and go one and two, one and two, and then maybe go down a little bit, take it up to there. And then we're just gonna go in like this. So one here, two, and then one, two, three. But then this one, you know, let's take that one out. We're gonna make that one as our way in to get inside this little section over here. So that is our nice little, just organic circle-like thing, <laughs> which is really, really nice. Then I'm gonna lift some of these up. And then we're also gonna level this out as well. So let's keep it up to just level right here. Everything the same right there, perfect. Then let's lift some of these up. So I'm gonna take this all up in certain spots. We can go up with full blocks or slabs or stairs. So let's do maybe, Right here, let's do a double full block. Let's put a single block. Let's go with a single there. Let's put a double on that side. Let's put a single here, double, double, one here. Let's go one there, one there. Let's go one in the middle. Let's go two in the center, one in the corner, one in that corner, and maybe one in this corner like that. Then let's put some slabs here. Let's put one there. Let's just mix this around in just random spots, just like this. So it looks very random and organic looking, something like so. Then I'm gonna go ahead and bring in some stairs. So let's put a stair here. Let's put a stair this one. Let's put a stair facing that way. Stair here, stair there. And let's just play around and add some more stairs like so. And until we look pretty good, I think that looks good. And then I'm gonna come back in here and texture a little bit. Maybe we can add a little bit more details, maybe a couple full blocks right there, a couple stairs, maybe a stair here, maybe one up, maybe a little slab right there, just to add a little more detail. Maybe another full block. Let's put like a little, little stair, stair, a little slab right here, a little slab there, just making it look very cool. Uh, so something like that might look awesome. Like, eh, that's pretty good. Uh, and then we can just play around, make it look very cool and very natural, but just randomly adding a little bit like this just makes it look a little bit more full and a little more detailed. So something like so, very super simple. Then let me go ahead, I'm gonna texture this a little bit with some stone, some mossy, just a little bit of andesite maybe, and we'll get on to putting more details in the center. All right, there you go. Now nice and textured. Let's go ahead and now do a little bit of terraforming here. I'm gonna add some podzol and some coarse dirt variations. All right, and there you go. Now let's go ahead and add some of the beehive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put scaffold in just random spots. So I'm gonna put one right here. Let's put one back there. It's gonna be just randomly scattered. Let's maybe put one here, one on this side, one there. Let's go with one here, one about right there in the center. Let's go with one on this corner. Actually, let's lift this up one a little bit there. Yeah, here we go. One here. Let's go with one there and maybe one on this side. That's good, that's good. We don't have to go too crazy. And then we're gonna go ahead and just put the beehives. We're just gonna face them all this direction. So the little letterbox looking thing is facing this side. And something like this, super, super simple, just like that. Then I'm gonna add a bunch of flowers, a bunch of bushes, and just make this look a little more alive. And there you go, look how awesome. The bees are just having fun there. A bunch of flowers surrounding it, different variations of tall grass, tall flowers as well, different kinds of bushes just to vary it up. And I love that, isn't that looking pretty cool? All right, now check this out. I added a little bit of a wall here just to have a little separation and it looks really, really cool. Pretty much the same theme we did here. I just continued the wall right on this side, put a little step up and that's looking pretty cool. Some bushes, some tall grass. We can still detail this even more, but let's add some more details to the outside of the house. So I'm thinking maybe a little section over here for barrels, uh, just for extra storage, just piled up in here in the side. will look pretty good. So something like that will look nice. Maybe even a campfire on one of these and drop a little water so we extinguish that. Maybe just do a little trapdoor, little trapdoor right here, and just hang some lights from those trapdoors, just like that. Super, super simple. We could do one, two, three, one, two, three, and then put one, two, three here, and then just stack some on top, stack some like that, and we have a nice little area here for that. That looks really, really awesome. And then for added detail, maybe we could put, let's see, something like so to cover that up, and something like so here to cover this up. So we have this little area, which I love. That looks awesome. Maybe a little stack up here. So let's do maybe something simple here, one right there. And then let's get rid of these. I don't think we're gonna need that. I don't think we're gonna need these here. So let's do something like this. So let's stack one, two, three, 
one, two, three, lift these up. There we go. And then we can go one, two, three, lift those, and one, two, and three, lift these. Then we can grab our beehive, put two and two. And then on the top, a simple trap door right there. We have extra bits out here. And there we go, all done. Let me go inside, let me give you guys some interior inspiration. I did set up some really, really cool stuff on the inside, so let's just hop on in. So bam, once we get on in here, uh, a nice little spiral staircase with a nice little light in the front, some storage here, just random stores on the side with a stone cutter and a chest. Uh, over here, we have a nice little entrance with some composters and bushes, a cool fireplace here with a bunch of smokers. Well, you can change this up if you guys want. Maybe adding some blast furnaces or regular furnaces. We got some barrels going up on the side, a little cabinet action with a brewing stand, chest, and grindstone. Over here, we got a nice little uh, sink with a crafting bench and a flower. <laughs> Over here, we got a nice little tie. It's a big chandelier. I don't even really need it there, but it's kind of like low as well, but I kind of think it looks cool. We got a nice little seat over here with some pressure plates for plates. And then down below, just a couple seats here with a cake in the middle. And I love that. That's looking pretty cool. Then on this side, very survival friendly. We have ourselves a big old storage room right here. So barrels on the bottom uh, with crafting benches, more barrels on the sides, and double chests scattered all the way around. So you could definitely use this as a, a, a legit survival house. Then once we come upstairs, this looks pretty awesome. We have a bunk bed right here on the side, a little ladder to get up, a little chest with a table, uh, another composter with a bush. And I love that. That. We got a hopper on the top here with a little hanging light on that one as well and some paintings And then on the outside a little seat so you can just sit down here and watch the bees do their thing right here on the outside I love this so much and then around the side We have all our little extra bits of details extra beehives over here and beehives on the side Definitely a beekeepers house, but what do you guys think? Is this cool? I think it came out really really awesome But let me know what you guys think let me know if you guys want to see another uh, Beehive or bee sanctuary type of tutorial coming up. I got so much inspiration 115 couldn't come soon enough, but I'm having a blast with these bees. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next uh, Minecraft video. Thanks. See you guys. Bye bye.